Hello everyone, welcome to another FME tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use FME to load data in and out of Snowflake's cloud data platform. Snowflake is a data platform that was built for the cloud. It allows organizations to utilize modern data warehousing and data lakes to store and share diverse data across their organization. In this three-part video series, we're first going to show you how to set up a Snowflake database connection in FME. In the second video, we'll show you how to create a workspace that reads data into the workspace from Snowflake. And then in the third and final video, we'll show you how to write a data set to Snowflake. First off, I want to show you the Snowflake database connection. Database connections allow you to read from or write data to a database. I'm on a Mac, so under preferences and then database connections, I'm going to filter for Snowflake. I'm going to point you to this Snowflake sample data. We're just going to edit those parameters and show you what's in there. The key thing here when you're making a new connection to your Snowflake system is you want to be aware of what the account name is. And this is going to be everything before the snowflakecomputing.com URL. So you just need everything before that and that's going to get you started. The next thing is your database. When you come into your Snowflake interface, you'll see that you've got several databases here and you want to make sure that you're connected to the correct database. In this case, I'm using sample data and then your schema. So underneath your sample database, you're going to have different schemas. We're going to go with this 150,000 features one here. I'm going to change the schema from a 10 to a one. The table we want to work with has 150,000 sample features in it. Leaving this at a 10 would work from a 1.5 million sample features table instead. We're going to enter the username and password for the Snowflake account. So now I'm going to save that, and now we're going to be able to add the Snowflake reader to our workflow. With the database connection established, you can now read and write data to and from Snowflake. And that was how to create a Snowflake database connection. Make sure to watch the next two parts in the video series, where we show you how to add the Snowflake reader onto your canvas and write CSV data back to Snowflake. Thanks for watching the first video in this three-part series. We'll see you in the next two.